Hello and welcome to a tour of Notion Meal Planner. In this video, I will show you how to use the template and its features. This template can be downloaded for free by clicking on the link in the description below. But first, here's how to use it. Here we can view all of our added recipes. Let's check out an existing recipe, for example. As you can see, we can add a cover image by uploading a saved file from the web. This will make our recipe easier to identify. Below this, we can select the course of the recipe from the drop-down menu the days of the week we choose to make the recipe on, and any other specific tags that describe the recipe in further detail. We can add the total minutes it takes to make and can give it a rating from one to five stars. And if you can't live without it, there is an add to favorites button. Lastly, we have a list of ingredients required to make this meal. To view only our favorite recipes, simply click on the favorites tab. Here we will only see recipes that have been favorited by checking the checkbox. All recipes that have been assigned a course type and day of the week will appear on the weekly plan. Here we can view our schedule of meals for the week and allows us to access our recipes quickly. This makes it super convenient to find the ingredients list when we need it. We can also change the assigned days for the recipe to appear on, simply by dragging and dropping it around the weekly plan, and we can choose to create duplicates if we want. As you can see, the assigned days have automatically updated. Recipes can also be added to the weekly plan by simply dragging them across databases. Lastly, we have a list of ingredients required to make each recipe and also a shopping list. We can divide ingredients into separate categories for better organization. Simply click on any ingredient to view its related recipes. This will help you figure out the quantity needed when it comes to shopping. The total number required will then be displayed on the database. To add the ingredient to the shopping list, simply click on the checkbox, and once you have bought the item, deselect it from the shopping list. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, you can download this template for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.